Okay, so here's the flipping technique. I'll show you how easy it is. It's all on the wrist. I'm a right-handed fisherman. My flipping distance is about 18 to 22 feet. I mean, that's pretty much about what I flip. So take a rod any length, okay? This rod right here is only seven foot, nine inches long. It's one of Duckett's rods. Uh, I actually have an eight footer that's coming out in the ducket line. I just don't have it in my hands yet. A little shorter handle on it because I like all the rod out in front of the reel. But the action is the same, parabolic bend. I like a flip stick, that one. Here, just kind of hang on to that. Here, I'll bring it back to you. Now wrap it because I'm going to pull on it. And I, there you go. This is what I like in a flip stick, and it's what we call a parabolic bend. It's basically a meat rod. Okay, when I put pressure on it, I want the blank to bend, hanging on, all the way to the handle. This right here is what I want to have firm. I want all the rod out there working that fish. That's the control that I have on that fish. So when I set the hook, I want, the, I want my blank bent all the way in the handle. That's parabolic bend. You see how even it is, how it transitions out? That's real important. Because the other, thank you, the other part of it, I'll get to in a minute on the pitch, is real important. But here's the flip. All you do is just take your flip stick, whatever size you can do with a six foot rod or a five foot rod, doesn't matter, you just don't have the distance. Take a little bit of line, about the length of the rod. In the same time, I take a little bit of line off the reel and I hold it in my left hand. Okay. All I'm gonna do is break my wrist and watch my right wrist. All I'm doing basically is dropping the rod tip. By dropping the rod tip, I'm putting that lure into a forward motion. That's it. Break the rod tip, let it go forward. Just kind of walk around like that. Just kind of get used to the rhythm. And you'll find that, you know, you can kind of put it out there a little bit harder. But that's it. You just want to get used to using your wrist. You cannot do it like this, okay? You got to hold the real handle up. Now, with the line in the left hand, you should never pinch it, okay? It should never be held tight. The line in your left hand should always slide freely. Okay, so kind of get used to that. I kind of ride it over my thumbnail like this because your left hand is your total control. That's how you control the presentation of the bait is with the left hand. And as that bait enters the water, your left hand should be on the foregrip of the rod every time. Don't ever get caught dropping something in the water, letting your hands go off the line, it goes bloop, and you're, you're totally out of control. Because a lot of your strikes, when I'm picking apart stuff, the fish are laid up in the trash or in the bushes or whatever. A lot of the times, as soon as the bait in, enters the water, you'll get the bite. But that's it. Drop the rod tip and follow the bait. Give the bait the distance with your left hand. Okay? That's it. All the plastics that you, you want, you can think of, you know. My, probably my number one is a lizard. A lizard is one of the most natural baits there is. To make it simple, if I had one color to fish the rest of my life, it'd be black. Black with no flake, black. Black is one of the best clear water colors. All three species of fish love it, it's natural. And black is just a phenomenal color. Smallmouth love black and real clean water. That's got an ounce and a half weight on it. I use this a lot around aquatic vegetation, but I also go to a half ounce and fish it like a jig. I'm talking about heavy cover, that jig head that's going around, if you look how it's designed for the real heavy cover works good, well, I tell you, you put one of these things on there and you will never get hung up. It slides through it real good. But what this does do, this technique is just not for plastics and for jigs. I can virtually and have caught fish on just about everything you can cast flipping. Uh, especially when you really get the pattern dialed in. I love to flip a square. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. 
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.